The goal is to push you to the limit. Hey Best Valley, I'm Allie, and I'm pretty sure I'm out of shape. Today we're gonna find out if that's true because I'm gonna test my VO2 max, which is the maximum amount of oxygen my body can take in when it is pushed to its absolute limit, which means this test is not going to be fun. I have to run as hard as I can for as long as I can on a treadmill wearing a mask. I'm nervous. If I was a car, we would be finding out my horsepower, how big my engine is. This crazy test is considered the gold standard for indicating how fit you are and predicting your longevity. So not only am I nervous for completing the struggle, I'm also nervous for showing you precisely how fit I am. But this channel is all about pushing into discomfort, so let's go. Oh, I'm also going to use this as a true test of how good my devices are at guessing my VO2 max. I had pre-workout on the way here. I really want to perform well. I just signed a consent form that said, this is gonna suck and it could cause a heart attack. What's your name? Brian. Brian. Brian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm an endurance athlete as well, myself. Oh great, now I'm gonna show off for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do Ironman triathlons. I run 100 miles. I do ultra cycling. Oh my god. I also do endurance coaching and strength conditioning coaching. Heart rate monitor going on. Yeah, what's your current weight right now? 122 this and morning. What's your target? I don't know, 132. Oh, you want to go up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just bulked and I'm, I'm kind of at the end of a cut. I've been more interested in gaining weight lately, but like muscle, not. <laughs> yeah, 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 obviously. definitely the muscle, yeah. And activity level, obviously very active. Yes, but it's mostly not yeah. cardio. Strengthening? Yeah. Okay, okay. So when you're training to improve your VO2 max, are you doing zone two? Or are you doing high intensity intervals? You do both. Taking the, the VO2 max basically is a test to see how strong your lungs is to bring in oxygen to your working muscle. In this case, it's running, right? Primarily, we use oxygen and fat as main source of fuel. So once we start moving and running, then the heart rate goes up. So if the heart rate goes up, then you end up using your carbs as fuel. With this test, you're gonna see your zone one, two, three, and four. You wanna focus on your zone two fat burning zone because that's where you burn a lot of fat and increase your cardio. Once you train that zone two fat burning zone, it will take you about, let's say 25 to 30 days, continuous every day of zone two fat burning zone before your body recognizes, hey, Al is using her fat as fuel. Her heart rate is not going up. But you can incorporate high intensity interval training in between to increase your cardio, increase that ceiling. It's like there's a ceiling right here. You wanna raise it up a little bit more. You wanna incorporate zone two, uh, cardio and at least two times minimum of high intensity interval training to increase your VO2 max. So that's the reason why people are able to run fast keeping their heart rate low because they were able to build their base. And stay in fat burning zone. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Boring warm up first, okay? Have you run a marathon, half marathon before? I've ran a full and a bunch of halves, but that was like 10 years ago. Okay, so your half, what is your time? So that I have an idea on... Oh, uh, 10 minute miles. Far. Okay, yeah. good, good. Okay, so I know how much I can push. I don't think I could do that now. <laughs> so does lifting weights at all help you with VO2 max? It's just going to increase your, your stamina to withstand loads. What's your VO2 max, if you don't mind? Me? Yeah. Uh, 58, 55. What? That's doubly superior for your... Oh, well, it, it depends. <laughs> Each person is different, you know. Put this on your face. I'm gonna make it nice and taut, okay? Yeah. Inhale for me. Exhale. Okay, very good. <laughs> Sealed. <laughs> Go to the treadmill, please. Before we get to the terrifying treadmill test, I wanted to mention that I recently realized I have been leaving gains on the table, literally. In my eight years or so of lifting, I've never taken creatine, and it helps with muscle gain, exercise performance, recovery, even brain function. My brain has been too stupid to take creatine to make my brain better. Well, all of that changes now because I have Cree gums. The benefits of creatine while also being a delicious gummy, which I will not be too stupid to forget that. Come on, dummy, take your gummies. Seriously, I can't even list all of the benefits of creatine, so I'm just gonna put them on screen. Why did I not do this before? And here's what really convinced me. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you may see even more muscle gains from creatine because you're not getting it from animal-based sources. In case you missed my going vegan for 60 days video, I'm still basically vegan and still vegan after these because they are. They're also gluten-free, sustainable, organic, and low sugar. Each one has 1.5 grams of creatine where other gummies usually have one or even just half a gram. So I just started and I'm really excited about it and you should see results in about two to three weeks, so let me know in the comments if you want me to check back in on my creatine journey. It's also a part of a different video that I'm shooting in the future. I have a new trainer for something that I can't mention yet, Shh. but he also was like, why haven't you taken creatine yet? What the heck is wrong with you? And if you want to start your own journey, Cree Gums is giving my pallies 10% off with my discount code and use the link in the description. 
and now treadmill time. Put this on you first. So it's waiting for your first breath, calibrating, and then um, we're gonna start the test as soon as it gives me the signal. Heart rate 133, 125, 115, pretty good. So it's waiting for stable breathing and heart rate right now. The goal is to push you to the limit. So I'll try to push you, okay? Weird, I feel like I'm starting to huff and puff and I'm not even jogging yet. Testing start. One minute on this pace. Focus on breathing, 45 seconds. I'm gonna keep increasing the intensity of speed only to the point that you're able to tolerate. I'm gonna ask you if you're okay every minute, just give me a thumbs up. If you're having a problem breathing because you can't breathe as much because it's getting harder or the legs is giving out, just give me a shaky sign, okay? If you wanna stop at all, just do a cut sign. Is the mask bouncing? A little bit. A bit, okay. This mask is heavy and it's making it harder to breathe. Plus the tube attached to it is making it bounce around. This is probably the least athletic I've ever felt and it's because this stupid thing is strapped to my face. Do you wanna step on the side for me? Perfect, I'm just gonna adjust it real quick. Okay, let's go. Okay, next level up. Feel good? 20 seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds. Okay, next level up. I can't tell if I dread him coming to turn the speed up or if it's a good thing because I know I'm moving forward and I just want to get this done. 40 seconds left. I'm gonna keep that pace, I'm gonna go up on incline. Great, we're not gonna go any faster. Oh, incline. Heart rate 164, VO2 max 33, five seconds. Okay. Increase an incline to three, still good, perfect. Still giving thumbs up, but man, I wish there was something between thumbs down and thumbs up. Heart rate 166, VO2 max 30, anaerobic threshold detected. The machine is telling me you're using your carbs and sugar as your main source of fuel at a heart rate of 166. It's helpful that he's telling me my stats now, it's motivating, I need this. Come on, gamify it for me, man, tell me more. 30 seconds left. After this, we're gonna increase every 30 seconds now. I'm now very aware of the camera, you watching me. Okay, next level up, level five. Still good? Every 30 seconds now, 20 seconds left. 15, 10, heart rate 173, five seconds left. Next level up. Yeah, a little shaky right now. Still good? All right, keep pushing, Ali. You got this. I'm now not very aware of you watching me and just trying to survive. VO2 max 40, really good. Keep it up, 175 heart rate. Five seconds, next level up, level six, still good? Love, legs or lungs? Lungs, lungs, okay, keep going. Push, let's go. This is actually a very hard question for me. I can't tell if it's my legs or my lungs. Everything feels bad. I'm gonna keep that speed, I'm just gonna go up. Let's go, 30 seconds at a time, Ali. Keep pushing, heart rate 176. Uh -huh. Well, it depends. You got uh, five seconds left. There you go. <laughs> you good job. Okay, hold on. One second. One second. One second. Okay, go back again and walk. Good job pushing yourself. Okay, let's put this close to your chest. I'm gonna take off your mask right now. So your lungs give out first, right? Yeah. So now you know. Or like, I'm not sure. So now you know your legs are stronger than your lungs, or you're getting claustrophobic. No, it's definitely the lungs? my body giving up, not my, okay. not so my fear. Do you feel like your lungs gave out first before your legs? Okay, yeah. so now you know you have strong legs. You need to work on your cardio. Okay. That's where these test results come in. It's gonna help you a lot. So you're in recovery mode, a couple more seconds, and then um, we're gonna print out your test results. Dang it, I'm so mad. I'm probably gonna get another five seconds. <laughs> when you started, uh, stopping, you have five seconds left. Yeah, until what? It would have been like... The next next 30 seconds, yeah. But how stupid. I was able to talk to him at the end, which means I probably could have pushed further. Puke should have come out instead of word. But that feeling of I could have gone further after finishing something is always how I feel, even with lifting. I see this fail and I'm like, man, I could have gotten that. Why did I stop lifting? Okay, so these are your test results. Before we get to my results from the gold standard test, we should look at all of my devices and what they predict because 
They are just guessing, and now we're gonna be able to compare precisely what's right versus the guess. My ultra human ring is saying 45. Apple is giving me a 45.2. And my aura ring is also saying 45, so they're very much in agreement. Also, Aura has an onboard app test that you can do. It's certainly not running forever on a treadmill. Ugh. Got my ring on and my app ready. Take the walking test. I got a power walk for six minutes and it says fairly flat straight root. That looks like all those things. Why am I nervous for this one? I'm just walking. Okay, three, two, one, go. I wonder if taking you with me is going to affect my results. Oh well, I saved taking this test for right now when I'm visiting Christine's parents for Christmas because I needed an area I'm pretty sure also that I have to connect to GPS and all of the things going on in LA probably would have messed with the results. Okay, I need to stop talking to you. I got focus on being VO2 maximumed. Finish line, three, two, one. Okay, getting my results. I got a distance of 0.4 miles and my average pace was 15 minute miles plus nine seconds. Measurement quality average, what does that mean? It had a trouble getting my heart rates. Keep your hands warm. That's definitely not the case right now. I'm shirtless in the middle of the winter. And it's predicting my VO2 max is 38, which is different than the previous prediction it had without the test. Hmm. Well, I gotta get back, so I might as well do another test. <sighs> I'm also trying to heat up my finger. It's still saying that my capacity is high, but not peak like it was before. Okay, test again, three, two, one, go. Oh, I just passed my start, so I got further this time. No, I'm not out of breath. Distance, 0.41 miles this time. My average pace did go up. So did my VO2 max, we're now at 39. Measurement quality was good, see? Yeah, I kinda shoved my hands in my pants while I was walking to warm up my fingers. After my speed walk, I wanna show you my speed vibration that I've been experimenting with, and I'm going to attempt to tell you about it while using the device. <laughs> Ooh, you can go a little higher here. I first got interested in whole body vibration when Dave Asprey, the biohacker, wrote about it forever ago, saying that it activates your hormonal, cardiovascular, lymphatic, and nervous systems simultaneously. You know I love multitasking. So now I'm finally giving it a shot. This is the Tiscare vibration plate. Let's move up. It does 120 different speeds. Oh, okay. And they say just 10 minutes a day can increase bone density and relaxation, which I'm uh, feeling pretty chill right now. And it can also help with injury prevention and pain relief, which I am battling a hip injury from art. On my other channel to make my pop socket floor, I had to spend four 15 hour days sitting on the floor so my hips are all screwed up from that. So this is feeling good. Wait, can I dragon squat on this? <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. Oop, nope. <laughs> Take two, you got this specs. Down all the way, hold it in, up. Yes! <laughs> While I'm on this, my muscles are contracting like a bunch of times each second, which means more energy use, potentially faster results, but also definitely more fun. What I'm really excited to try out is the lymphatic drainage part of it, and I put off doing it for so long because I thought these things would be huge, and it's not. It's so compact, it just takes up this little space. Very convenient. Look, I can even use a remote instead of bending over like I was. Oop, and we're all the way up. He And it has a maximum weight capacity of 300 pounds, which I'll still be able to use it after my next bolt because I'm totally gonna get that big. And if you wanna try out Tiscare for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. And now let's sit down. That's enough talking to you through vibes. <laughs> now we have the guest consensus of my VO2 max is 45 and then the walking test said 39. So what is my true VO2 max according to the gold standard test? Well, that test also gave me a bunch of other data. Let's look at that too. First, Brian mentioned that my heart rate jumped really quickly from 90 to 160. Your heart rate spiked up pretty quick from 90 to 160 right away. So that is not good. It's an area for improvement. And another one, my peak heart rate was 175 and I really think it should be in the 180s and I really wanna push myself to that next time. And now this one, your heart rate recovery, which is how fast your heart gets back to normal. And they look at the first minute and 15 to 20 is good and mine was 10. So after my body was freaking out on the treadmill, it continued to freak out for way too long when I got off and stopped. So again, more areas to improve. Remember when I said that? I'm out of shape. And now my true VO2 max is 36.8. So I am above average, close to excellent, but not really wanted excellent. But also I feel like that's better than I expected. So I'm simultaneously proud and mad. And I've seen other categories. They didn't show it on this graph, but there's a superior level. I really, I really want to be superior. So I'm close to 40. I think I could get 40. And also 
As of publishing this video, I am 40. Gasp. Yeah, this past Wednesday was my birthday. I am 40 years old, and that's a huge reason why I'm paying attention to my VO2 max now. As you get older, it declines, and then you start to feel like suck. But if you can just hang on to what you have, not even get better, look at this on the graph, it moving into the 60s, that, see, I would be superior, just hanging on. But also, I don't wanna just hang on, I do wanna get even better, and this test pushed me outside of my comfort zone, and it sucked, and I loved it. So this all got me very excited to do high intensity again, which I've been neglecting, and I have a very specific plan to get my VO2 max up in a very specific way, and I have a very specific trainer that's going to help me, as I mentioned when I was talking about creatine. I just can't tell you about what the video is yet. Uh, so subscribe and stay tuned because I'm about to get my lungs really working with <laughs> teaser. If you liked this, you'll like seeing when I got uncomfortable slack lining 100 feet up in the air. I'll put that down there for you. <gasps> it is so far down. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I'm about to try to slackline for the first time on a slackline that is over a 100-foot-high canyon, oh dear. I recently met Michael, who runs the Hanging Out channel,